Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. So Celeste actually just finished leveling up her writing skill literally like a second ago. So I wanted to come back because I was tweeting about the whole workaholic thing that I was talking about in the last episode. And thanks to someone on Twitter, they actually told me that you can click on your sim and go to work on off hours. She is too tired at the moment, but I'm going to get a sleep replacement because I'm curious that if I have her go, if it will deeply impact her performance. So, and like by deeply, I mean like in a good way. So I want her to go ahead and do that and we can check it out and see. So let's hope that that is the case. I wonder how long they go to work um, during off hours, but I guess we'll find out. Now, the only other thing is like the whole demanding a promotion. I don't remember exactly how you go about that. You can't click on her and demand a promotion or anything, but I'm wondering if we were to, let's say, meet the meet our boss. I don't think I necessarily need that now considering we're literally level nine of the careers, so it's not like anything crazy but I'm curious. I think we may be able to finish it this episode. I'm really hoping so. I wasn't gonna record another episode today, but I'm kind of vibing right now, so I'm here with another one. Moon, on the other hand, I do want him to try and level up acting a little bit more and practicing lines. He keeps on stopping when, every time I tell him to practice lines, so we're gonna have him do that. Wait, does this help acting? Practicing lines? Oh, it does. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, side note, Capri ran away again, so. <laughs> I just, it's hard to keep him at home all the time, apparently. Okay, he completed that. So let's continue acting because you're almost leveled up to level three. So we might as well get that done. And that'll also help us with, oh wait, no. I thought we had to get level, get to level three for school, but I guess not. Let's see, did that do anything for us? Okay, it doesn't seem like it boosted our performance at all which is really interesting because i definitely thought it was going to the only thing i don't understand is like if a sim loves acting i feel like their fun should go up you know what i mean but it doesn't seem like that's the case here i low-key want to go to a parenting class because her parenting is like at 59 percent oh i can't go to another skill class skill classes are available again from 9 till 9 p oh okay so we won't be able to go that sucks do you have like extra credit you can do that we can help you with Oh, you do have extra credit we can help you with. All right, uh, do extra credit and then we'll have your mom help you out. So today is also the day that we need to kind of explain the situation to Fern because she called us on a date, but I had Celeste hang up on her because she's not interested in going on a date. She just wanted to see if things were like there, but I feel like they can just be really, really close friends. So I'm definitely gonna still develop that relationship, just not romantically. So that means we could possibly go into full parent mode in this episode as well. I just need to keep in mind that I need to keep his character values in range because I know one of them recently dropped. Oh, it was responsibility, but he is fine now, so. Gotta just keep an eye out on that. But he ages up into a young adult in nine days. <laughs> this is nuts. Oh, this means I can also go and purchase um the laundry machines because I haven't yet. All right, there we go. I added all the hampers into everybody's rooms as well because I got rid of absolutely everything relating to laundry because it was stressing me out. Capri's back. I was just talking about you, my love. And look at him. <gasps> Love days tomorrow. Oh my God. Okay. She's like sad about him, but he's like literally right in front of the house. <laughs> Hi buddy. Welcome back for like the thousandth Hi, time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're just like leaving us all the time, but it's a thing apparently. So she's back to work and let's get this promotion girly. You better. That's all I'm saying, hun. You're not dying yet, right? Okay. We still have some time before then. <laughs> I was just making sure. Oh, the way we like were petting him and now he needs a shower because <laughs> Capri's so grimy. So it's been about a week since the footage you guys just saw. So I don't exactly remember where I left off, but all I know is that Celeste's about to be home from work and she did not get promoted. She's that excellent too. Dang. Well, that means that most likely tomorrow she'll get promoted, which means we're getting so much closer to being done, which is so crazy. The only thing is, is again, that we need to wait for her to die in order for this to technically be completed so we're not gonna worry about her but what i will do is send her off to parenting now i do see that we can actually demand a promotion from the boss but 
I'm not going to worry about that because since we're already so close, why should I worry about it now? Because, I mean, it doesn't matter. We'll just go to work tomorrow and we'll get our promotions. So it'll be fine. But I'm going to send her off to learn parenting. Hopefully that goes well. And we can get closer to being done so we can finish the other part of the aspiration, which is go into full parent mode. I don't actually know what that entails. I haven't really done that. I don't believe since... My 100 Vampire Baby Challenge. I barely ever get my Sims to um, that level. Why aren't you going to activity, sweetheart? Go go to Drama Club. Oh, you have two different outfits for Drama Club? Okay. I mean, it's going to be over in like half an hour, so I don't even know if it's worth it, but it just, it told me to cancel it for some reason, so I don't know. I also wanted to say that between this episode and the next one, there's probably going to be a fairly big time jump because since I want Celeste to be finished with her aspiration. Moon needs to be a young adult and he is nine days away from being a young adult. So we have quite a bit of time. Uh, within the meantime, I could probably work on his skills and stuff. I still don't know exactly the skills that I want him to work on for his generation. Now I have been getting a lot of people asking me like, can I post my version of the extended not so berry? And I do not have the entire thing ready whatsoever. I'm gonna be writing them as each gen comes because that way I'll know, like, maybe if another pack comes out, maybe I'll want to incorporate that. So I'm not, I don't want to be too ahead of myself. Uh, and I know a lot of you guys want to follow along with me, but unfortunately I don't have white fully written up yet. I did have, like, a gist of what I want to get done and stuff. I'll be sharing that once Moon's Gen comes along, but as for right now, I don't have that ready. Because I want to be sure with what I want to do with him. So I might be trying to do that soon though, so that I can figure out what skills to work on while he's a young adult. All right, well maybe I'll have them work on homework just so that she can help them out. And that way we can... She's too tense, sweetheart, why? For what reason? Oh, because she's having a mood swing. Okay, well, forget about helping you with homework, hun. So, Winter, why don't you come over here and breeze through homework and so your mom can help you out. <gasps> Fern, no. Oh, my God. We have to tell Fern that we just want to be friends. We're going to need to, like, go out and tell her because she's going to be wanting to call and, like, go on dates and stuff. But I just, no. No, no, no. Also, I learned from one of you guys in the comments that in order to unlock the couch recipe, which I've been trying to get from the fabrication machine, and turns out that the only way to get that one is from actually enthusing about fabrication. There's also other recipes that you can unlock from that. So I'm actually gonna have him come over here and talk to Dove about fabrication since she's gonna be into that. Now I did have somebody else say that she could uh, take part in gardening and stuff, which I guess would work too. And then she could also use the beeswax from the bee box to make candles. And I honestly, we could definitely do that. I didn't even think about the bee box. I'm just so excited. We're gonna be done with their career. We're so, We're so freaking close. We're so by it's next hungry. episode, she'll most likely be at like 10 days. So there's going to be so much time jumping, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to try and make it work so that it's not like, it doesn't feel like it's too crazy and time skippy, if that makes sense. But it is going to be the way it's going to have to be because I don't want you guys to watch like boring episodes, you know what I mean? See, is this leveling? Oh, it is leveling her parenting. <gasps> Why didn't I have you browse forums before, honey? I should, I should have just been doing that this whole time. I'm going to have her do this one more time. And then I'm going to have her go upstairs and tuck her kids in. Oh, wait, you're not even sleeping in your bed. Go sleep in. When do you age up, actually? Oh, he ages up in two days. Oh, maybe I should wait until he ages up. When do you age up? In nine. Okay, so you age up in the same time that your brother does. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, so we're not going to be missing many birthdays then. Um, and then also Dove ages up soon too. So we're going to have quite a bit of birthdays in the next episode again, which is completely fine. I'm going to try my best to get Winter to age up in this episode as well. Wait, what? You went to sleep? No. Tuck in Winter. <laughs> I know you're tired. We'll have you go to sleep in just a second, okay? I'm just trying to, you know, get this done. Oh, Blue got married. Well, congratulations, Blue. I think she's one of the last sisters to get married because I think Sapphire's married. Oh, wait, no, Sapphire isn't married. Did you get a divorce? Nox probably died. Did he die? Oh, he did die. Oh, no. Can you tuck them in multiple times? Oh, you can't. Should I just keep tucking them in? Hold on. 87, tuck and ivory. Okay, before it was going up by 2%, now it's going up by one. <laughs> I'm just gonna level it this way. <laughs> and I think this is the last one. Yes, we did it. 
Oh my god, that was so hard. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, so now we can do super efficient baby care, which is not relevant to us because we are not having any more children. But we can also now enter full parent mode where her own needs won't be much of a problem. Oh, okay. Privacy violation, baby, what would you do? Did I not get him an instrument? Oh, this one works singing skill as well, piano. So maybe I might do that because I think I want him to be like a triple threat where he like learns dancing, singing. It's like musically inclined as well. And then of course acting. I don't even know where I would put this though. There's like no space. I think I'm just gonna have Celeste wake up and use a moolet solver. Just so that she's a good, in a good mood and so that we can go into full parent mode and get that done. I know you're hungry, but guess what? You take that moolet solver girl, you're gonna be all set. You don't have to worry about even eating. Perform numerous parenting interactions in succession to earn full parent mode. Oh, okay. Well, let's go talk to the kids then, shall we? Influence to pee, sure, do that. It's a parenting interaction, so it'll count, I'm assuming. Influence to eat, hopefully this works. Okay, the kids are off to school. Okay, that was not a success, so we're gonna have to <laughs> figure something out with that. Um, she does have work in two hours. So I guess we'll find out how that goes and if she doesn't get a promotion, then something's really wrong. <laughs> but I think we should be good. Now I will go ahead and hire repair service because we have a lot of broken things in this house. Are you not going off to school? Oh, because you're working on homework. Oh, he's helping you. Well, I appreciate that Atlas, but he's got to go. All right. I'd like to be able to finish off this gem with at least that couch <laughs> in the living room because... <laughs> It's been so long. Give love day gift. We could give them like a photo of us from like when they first met or something. Oh wait, no, I didn't get to pick those print that I wanted to give him. Did I just give him all of them? It's a thoughtful gift. Did you like it? I'll take that as a yes. All right, Celeste is off to work. Gonna get that promotion. I'm so excited. Oh here, purchase gifts, there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's like actual gifts here. Oh, there's a rose. Okay, we're gonna get that for... Uh, you can buy a sim ray? But yeah, we'll get the rose for Celeste when she comes home. We might go on a little date. I don't know. Someone did have the idea of maybe having them renew their vows. And I think that's kind of cute. I'm not sure. Are they? Are you actually able to do that? If you go to a wedding arch? You might be able to. I honestly don't know. Rain, my dude. Hey, want to talk about fabrication so I can unlock some recipes? Because <laughs> I really want to unlock some recipes. You hear me? Uh, let's see. Can we? Oh, we can't even enthuse yet. Well, she's going to be back soon. So that means that she's most likely going to get that promo. Oh, it's gold. Oh, we're going to be done. I'm so happy. Okay. So let's come home already, sweetie. I'm already waiting. I'm anticipating your promotion. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Top of food critic career ladder. Oh my God, we were promoted to curator of the finest flavors. Wait, what? The teacher is playing it safe and asking for a subdued onstage kiss to not ruffle the principal's feathers. Moon's co-star wants to go all out and perform a dramatic, passionate kiss on stage. Should Moon perform a subdued kiss or pa- I mean, if his co-star wants it, let's go for it. Steam shoots out of the principal's ears as she erupts with anger. However, the audience loves it and gives her praise after the show for taking such a mature attitude to theater. Moon gets a warning from the principal, but otherwise escapes unscathed. The rebellious move has impressed the student body and Moon gains fame for his efforts. Look at us, gaining fame already? Hell yeah. The way I'm trying to encourage you for your behavior and you go to sleep. <laughs> Okay, I mean, that, that's fine, I guess. Where are you? Okay, when everybody is in the bathtub, I'm just gonna try and do all these influencing things and we'll see what happens. Are we in full parent mode? Yes, we did it. All the parenting you've done has cost the world to slow around you. You feel like nothing can slow you down. Yes, we did it. Well, kids, now that I'm in full parent mode, I am going out on a date with your father. Oh, look, she's even like, has stars. Okay, queen. We could go to San Maishuno Meadows. They have the wedding arch there. So we are here. I wonder if we can. Can we renew? <gasps> we can renew our vows. Oh my God, let's go do it. Let's go be cute like that. 
Aww, wait, this is so cute for love day. Thank you to whoever left that comment and gave me the idea because I think that's so adorable. Wow, the lighting here is so great. Exchange oh. vows, go do it. What a beautiful ceremony. Celeste is renewing her vows with Atlas. Aww. That's cute. Oh, they even exchange rings. Aww. I love. I mean, you guys, I guess you guys go ahead and woohoo in the observatory and get a little freaky. <laughs> Why not? Oh, there's a roller skating rink we could go into, guys. I do also have a rose to give to her. Oh, and this is boosting their fun. This is perfect. No matter what, they still get negative woohoo. <gasps> or negative hearts. Okay, um, why don't you go ahead and give her a gift? Oh no, not it's starting to rain. Give her her rose. Uh -huh. Aww. <laughs> Cute. Oh, she gave us a rose back. Is it the same one? Kiss in the rain. Let's do it. Oh, I love that. Celeste gave Alice a thoughtful gift along with the expression of love. I will always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. Stop. That is so cute. How do I give her a massage? It's not giving me the option. At least I don't see it. We already have a gold date anyway. But let's go ahead and skate around. I wish they could like hold hands while they do this. That would have been really romantic to me. Oh, and she's already on her ass. <laughs> Getting hot in here, so take off all your clothes. I am getting so hot. Oh, iconic. All right, well, guys, I think we can call it there for the day. I think it's pretty successful. And uh, let's go home. We have a birthday to celebrate. Look, Love Day is like so good. Aw, yay, Love Day was successful. Not for the kids, but for them. That's all that matters. Since Alice isn't extremely tired, I'm gonna actually have him come over here and uh, Oh my god, not everything breaking. Oh my god. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get him to make the cake for Winter so he can age up. See, I would do like a proper birthday party But as you guys know from not last episode but the episode before that it's clearly bugged So I'm not gonna do that and hopefully everything works out because we didn't age up Celeste in the house last time so we'll see if the birthday party is the thing that's broken. Well. I'm gonna have you come over here and practice new lines because I do want you to get this promotion, okay? He's not doing too bad in it, so it is possible. Wait, do they always show icons here? I swear they never showed these. Unless I literally have never noticed that. Let's do it, Winter, come here. Work, 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 work. No! Oh, it did work, but he aged up outside. Okay, that's not that bad. Maybe we'll make him a perfectionist. Maybe for his aspiration, we could do something deviant. Cause I feel like he'd be that. Okay, you literally look oh, like Moon, it's so crazy. Ivory is next and she ages up in seven days. So the same time that I believe Moon ages up. Yeah, okay. That's not too far away. And then Dove ages up in six days. So. I have to play about five days off camera and then we'll be closer to being done, which is, oh my God, I can't believe it. Okay, so I was supposed to talk to Fern this episode, but I think we might just do that in the next one uh, since Celeste is tired and I mean, you know what? We could just quick, quickly meet up with her. It's four o'clock in the morning. So after she sleeps, we could just like go meet up with her at like the park or something and like, you know, let her know. Obviously, our romance isn't really high up there either because that's not what we intended, but we are really good friends. So that's all I really wanted from this anyway, is to actually gain a good relationship with Fern. So I guess it's not all bad. So I'll give Winter a makeover off camera and then um, you guys will see what he looks like in the next episode. Actually, we could maybe go meet her up for breakfast since she is hungry. So we could just go for like a super, super early breakfast. So I'm gonna just probably do that instead. I'm gonna definitely be trying my best to enthuse about fabrication off camera as well to see if we can get these other pieces of furniture. All right, Celeste, let's wake up and head over to, I don't even know where we're gonna go. I mean, let's go to this place. Hi Fern, how's it going? Go hug her. Not you, did you bring your own dirty dishes to the restaurant? 
<laughs> oh, it's funny. Don't kiss, don't kiss, don't kiss. Perfect. Are you an inkberry? She is! I was gonna say, she has the face of an inkberry. I low-key miss the fact that, if you guys remember, there used to be like a distinct face all the berries had. And now it's like lost. But the ink berries are carrying it on. So it's not all bad. All right, thank you for Oh, she changed her outfit. Okay, Fern. Um, there's already food here. We didn't even order this, but I guess this is like a breakfast place. No, don't be flirty, don't be flirty, don't be flirty. No. We have to say like we wanna just be friends, okay? I mean, I'm about to just eat the food that's in front of me. Like, might as well. Like, if it's free, it's free, right? Okay, we're telling her we're just gonna be friends. Oh, I think she's fine with it. Celeste and Fern have decided to cool off their romantic relationship. Oh, and she accepted. Okay, I'm really happy then. Well, now I can be like good friends, okay? So this is good. Asked to play in fountain? What fountain? Oh, there is a fountain here. I mean, free breakfast, playing in a fountain, having a new best friend. I mean, things are great. Can I actually ask her to be my best friend? I was gonna ask Atlas, but we might as well just ask her, you know? We have like clearly a nice connection, so we might as well. I don't think I've ever played in the fountain before. Oh, you actually go in it? Oh my, oh! This is so cute! Yeah, I definitely don't think I've played in the fountain before in this game. Oh, You guys! This is what best friends are for. To do like silly stuff like this. It's time to become officially best friends. Let's do this. Yay! BFFs! We had a moment where we kissed and it was fine, but Oh, no, 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 no flirting, no flirting, no flirting. You're not flirting, are you? All right. Well, we're going to head out. It was really fun hanging out. We got free breakfast. It's great. But, um, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go. No, 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 Fern. I said I wanted to be friends. No. <laughs> Guys, this is why I wanted to say go. No. I don't, okay, she clearly did not understand. Be friends, girl. I get it, it was a slip up, you know, the romantic atmosphere here just got you confused. It's okay, it's okay, I'm just, it was a friendly kiss. It was a friendly kiss, okay? That's it, just a friendly kiss. Right guys, that's it, that's all it was. We're going home, we're going home before it escalates. <laughs> Not Fern getting a mixed feelings, sis. No. <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna actually go ahead and end this episode right here because I don't even know what's going on anymore. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Next episode, we have a bunch of birthdays once again. And she's not gonna be an elder, unfortunately, but we're getting to that point soon. So I'm going to head out. Thank you guys again for watching. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys in a new video very soon. Bye, guys.